Hi, my name is Nate Warren. I'm Sylvia Wood's father and her inspiration for photography. I volunteered for this project for Sylvia to demonstrate the difference between what is now the digital age and the age of film photography. As you can see by the equipment on the table, we have come a long way in photography. My background in photography, I started, my curiosity I would say, came when I saw my father taking pictures with a Brownie Instamatic camera. I decided then, I think, that I wanted to become a photographer. So I took my dad's camera and immediately opened the back of it and you know the rest of the story. The film was uh, exposed and ruined. So that kind of started my career as a photographer and um, later in life I bought my own camera, a 35 millimeter Kodak Signet 35. But for this uh, demonstration tonight for this project I just want to demonstrate and show you some of my collectibles and uh, equipment that I've used from time to time and where we have uh, journeyed from and where we are now in the digital age. What I have here from my left to your uh, left to right is what's called a century graphic. This is a smaller version of the crown graphic both made by the same manufacturer. This camera can take two and a quarter, three and a quarter sheet film as well as the roll film back. This brand of photography was very, very slow and labor intensive. A photographer literally had to be on his feet and thinking on every shot. There was no automation. Everything was manual and uh, it required him to carry film packs to insert the film which would only give him two shots per film pack and what I have here are the various kinds of film packs this is what's called a 4x5 two sheet pack a photographer would load his film before going to a, shot, a shoot two sheets of film in each pack he would load the film in the back of the camera, pull the dark slide, I told you this was very labor intensive, pull the dark slide, make sure every time pull the dark slide before exposing the film. Many a photographer has forgotten to pull the dark slide, did his photo shoot, went to the lab, exposed the film, only to find his images were blank. So dark slide pull, cock the shutter, and exposure. There were many accessories for this brand of uh, camera. Here you have a what's called a Polaroid film pack. Polaroid film packs were used to, to um, help the photographer proof what he was going to shoot before actually exposing it to sheet film. Polaroid packs was instant. It would give a, uh, an uh, a picture in about two minutes. If a photographer wanted to do night photography or photography indoors, one had to use the good old flash bulb. This is the GE uh, what's called a, a, a 25B, a blue bulb, that was color balanced for color film. The photographer would insert the bulb, in the flash gun, and then he would cock the shutter, and then expose the film. One shot per bulb. Once they're exposed, they will become very hot. So you would literally have to take, pop the bulb out, discard the bulb, and reload in a matter of seconds if he was doing, he or she was doing uh, multiple exposures. 
here we have graduated we have come full circle we have landed in the digital age what I have here is a Nikon D200 digital camera this camera has all of the bells and whistles as a matter of fact the lenses on this camera are interchangeable to all of the Nikon equipment made since 1963 to the present date there's no obsolescence built into the Nikon system of digital photography not doing a commercial for Nikon but I love my Nikon equipment it has great versatility you can take existing like photography uh, photos with uh, with the Nikon you can use electronic strobe uh, it does uh, rear curtain uh, photography and uh, for motion and so many things you can do with the Nikon versus what we have here and just in wrapping up we've gone from full circle we've gone from sheet film this film had to be processed in a dark room had prints had to come out had to uh, develop it for prints to the digital age that you can take a photo and see your prints right away see your exposures right away so it took me a long time to decide to buy a digital camera because I'm an aficionado and uh, I love uh, photography and being a purist I think that photography should be done the old-fashioned way but going on vacation I can take my Nikon and I can get instant images I can see what my images look like before the darkroom I was very glad to have done this project for my daughter she's been uh, she says I'm her inspiration but she's inspired me as well to uh, be more creative and one day I'll get into the uh, Photoshop where I can start manipulating images and uh, get into some of the creative aspect of photography. My name is Nate Warren. I'm signing off. Have a blessed day.